inside. Here we go. It's rude to keep people waiting. This girl, she's got something she wants to ask. What girl? Are you talking about that shadow? Yep, and guess what? It's someone you know. Okay, you can come out. <sighs> Explain. Yule. There are Yule? people here. They want to see you. Oh no, please don't tell me we're getting thrown to that mine on this- Oh! All your friends. Never mind. Huh? I thought it was just gonna be endless Yules. Hold on. What's going on? Oh, did you see that? They want to lend a helping hand, but you're too far. Even though they know what you're really feeling, what you need, they can't do anything for you. I'm not looking for help from anybody. Of course you aren't. You're God's handpicked savior, right? You don't need friends, or even family. That's why you can't find Sarah anymore. <sighs> Whatever. Don't push it. Listen, you are the savior. You must gather the souls that still walk upon this dying world, and lead them to a new world of salvation. We've been but doing that for the past 50 episodes. Visible to you. And if you cannot see her, you cannot save her. You must ask yourself, if it means saving Sarah, will you fight God? Is this a trick question? One human does not have the power to defeat Benevelza. He is all powerful. Then I'll find another power, something beyond me, whatever it takes, even if it kills me as well. You cannot save anyone. Not even Sarah. Not as you are. Because first, you have to save yourself. What? You should listen to her. She always tells the truth. Right. Not like you. But... She's telling me that I'm missing something. Well, yeah. Haven't you figured it out? Ugh. I swear, sometimes I lose my faith in you. You don't even know the first thing about your own soul, but you think you can fight God himself. I don't think I've ever met anyone so dense. If you know it all, then tell me. What is it I'm missing? <sighs> yeah, lady. It Explain. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't mean a thing if you can't figure it out on your own. Then quit harping us about it. We're lightning. I have to save myself, but how? And we can take care of ourselves. By the way, what does that exactly mean? And oh, something more to that. We're right. fine. I'm fine. But... Look, I said I'm fine. Now just drop it, alright? If you're sure. But you will tell me if something is wrong, won't you, Light? Of course we will, Hope. Don't even worry about it. We're friends. We're certainly not fakes. We'll tell you everything that happens. Right, Light? Well, okay, I can't speak for Light herself, but we'll make sure to I'll make sure to tell you whatever I can. I am the player, after all. I control fate. That's how I roll. Anyway. Sid reigns. You're alive? There was once a man's name, but now it means nothing. His soul has dissolved into the swirl of chaos. I take his form as a convenience, but I'm no more than a puppet. Alright, so who's pulling your strings, Benevelza? 
No, not God. I am the voice of many, of the countless multitude who call chaos home. I am the speaker for the dead. Okay. Oh, savior, do you know the ritual they call Soul Song? Vanille is planning to perform it at the cathedral. She says it'll release the dead from their suffering. I guess that means you. Vanille has been misled. There is a truth she cannot see. A truth that lies within the Unseen Realm. What do you mean? What truth? You do not understand the role of Chaos. Huh? The Chaos will drown this world, but it's also the key to our humanity. When we die, we return to it. But only for a short time. When a man dies, his soul melts into the Chaos. But the idea of it, of him, survives intact. And then he is reborn anew and returns to the living world. An unseen power exists in all of us. It's the chaos that we carry in our hearts. Our souls are made out of the chaos, which is why they return to it when we die. But they survive there, waiting for a new body. Which means, you could be reborn in the new world. If the Sacred One shows us the way, she is the only one who can tell us what to do. She has the power to guide us into the future, where we can live again. She can do what I can't. Vanille can bring salvation to the dead. Yes, but she doesn't know what she is capable of. The Order has kept the truth from her. Why would they lie to her? They preach salvation. Only for the living. The Soul Song will destroy us and make you forget we ever existed. Murder on a grand scale. You want me to stop her, right? Yes. And then you must tell her what her real power is, so she can lead us to salvation. Is this what you all want? It is, but it is not God's will. If you answer our prayer, it will mean defying Benevelza. Those who try to defy the gods end up controlled by them and are destroyed in the end. Like Sid Reigns. I remember. Reigns fought for humanity and he was killed for it. But the spirit that drove him to stand up to the tyranny of the gods didn't die. I kept it with me. Chaos is in all of us. It's the stuff our souls are made of, and it's the reason that the dead live on in our hearts and minds. Yes, the chaos unites humanity, a thread woven through all our lives, and it's a power God cannot see. Its potential is limitless, and that makes it more powerful than he is. But now you're gonna tell me that it's nearly impossible to tap into, am I right? Yet it is possible. No one can control the chaos. If you want to make the power yours, you must have the help of those who are inside it. You know what needs to be done. You know whose soul you have to find. You mean Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? You must. With the Chaos, anything is possible. Find the invisible bonds that unite us across life and death. Do that, and you will have all the power you need. Hmm. Chaos. It was the key to defeating God. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah, how can I make you hear me? I reach out with every fiber of my being, but is it enough? Can I do more? If I throw myself into the abyss, if I cry out to you, will you hear me, Sarah? Will you answer? Well, as any Kingdom Hearts fan would know, that deep and down, in our hearts, we know, I guess in our case, that our home is made of chaos. Or something along those lines. Hold the world aloft, give me another day. 
But I guess that does explain a lot of things. Why the how where chaos return or souls go to the chaos? Why it's attracted there in the first place? We're made of chaos, which would also explain why see you again. why we die and all that. I guess I guess if you're following religion standards like in Christianity, if we were pure without chaos, we wouldn't die. Period. Kind of like in those old concepts back during the uh, Dead Dunes main quest. It's an interesting thing about. It really is. Now, let's see. Where is the... Where is this iron sphere? Ah, right here. Right behind the teleporter. A soft spot. And the EP ability Quake has, has been unlocked. Okay. A, an age-old ability. Let's see what we got here. EP... Quake. Deals non-elemental damage to all enemies and launches them into the air. Extends stagger time. Okay. So kind of how it worked in Final Fantasy XIII, the original. Although this time we're getting it late in the game, which... I guess is a callback to the game? As Quake was one of the first things you can actually get for yourself. Use your TP for it. Just throw non-elemental damage. Well, actually no. Earth counted as its own separate damage. I remember that. And the only way to actually inflict Earth damage was using Quake here. Yeah, it was a bit sucky, but what are you gonna do? I wonder if it'll work on Zaltus. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Why do you say we go test it out? A Dark Knight. Yeah, we'll keep you out for, for now. The Heart Stealer. I'll trade you out for Purple Lightning yet again. Cause reasons. Reasons, reasons, reasons. Uh, hope. Light. The end is almost here. One more day, and then the destruction of the world will be complete. Right. And there's no way I can delay it any longer. No. This is it. You can still carry out your mission as the savior, but today is your last chance. Tomorrow in the cathedral, Vanille will perform the soul song for the order. The final rites. When the souls of the dead will be released from their torment and returned to oblivion. And when the clock strikes the hour, it'll mark the end of everything. It's an ending that not even God has the power to stop. Right. But, um, before that... Where are we getting these two abouts from? I don't even know. Uh, let's find out what this is about. Hope, tell me something. You said that the souls of the dead return to the chaos, right? If that's true, then that's where Sarah must be. Her soul is lost out there in the chaos somewhere. For God, the Chaos is an unseen realm. He cannot see inside. And so it follows that he doesn't have the power to find her, as long as she is in the Chaos. But he can do something else. He can make her anew. But then how can she be the real Sarah? The one I know? Well, don't you trust him? It's true that even with all his power, God cannot extract Sarah's soul from the Chaos. But there is another place he might find it. He could take her soul from inside of you. How would... You're just making things up now. You always found it hard to trust people. What chance does God have? Look, I'm not saying you will. But if you do decide to turn against him, you should know that I'll always stand with you. You trust me, don't you? I would hope so, Hope. As we're literally the person who made you into the person you are today. I really hope that you stand with us. Maybe if we do decide to fight against him. Well, that's for another time. It just seems like the more I search, the further away I get from finding her. I've encountered more than a few ghosts from the past now, talked to souls from the chaos even, but I'm still no closer to finding Sarah. Not even a hint. I don't know, but perhaps you've done everything you can. Maybe you could have found her already, but something is keeping her from talking to you. Like she doesn't want to see me? Is that what you're saying? Of course I don't think that's the case. But it's possible. Perhaps it's because you're too close to each other. You mean she's out there and can talk to other people, but not me. Tell you what, why don't you go out there and look for her in my place? I'd like to help, Light, but I can't leave the Ark. How about this? If I happen to die before you do, for whatever reason, I'll make you a promise. I'll try to find her in the chaos. And when I do, I'll find some way for you two to be together again. Well, things are going down a deep, dark road now, because... That kind of saddens me, that really does. I, I don't know if I've made it clear before, but... 
Hope... Hope is actually my favorite character in Final Fantasy XIII, like the whole trilogy. No doubts, no questions about it. Lightning is cool and everything, she's a boss, but... I had, I've had a soft, spot for, a soft spot for Hope because... He reminds me of me, in a way. Like what I've been through. I was just this shy kid, unable to do many things. And after just one single... Or just a chain of events, really. He changes into someone who's not afraid to uh, do what it takes to help his friends and all that. That kind of relates to me, as I was a very shy kid before. I didn't know how... I was afraid to help... To, for, I was afraid of other people, really. But after a few things snapped, I eventually came to the person who I am, and... Heck, I'm not, I wouldn't be able to do YouTube here if it weren't for what happened to me. So, if Hope were to die for some reason, that would royally piss me off. That really would. And if he does betray us in the end, which I'm really hoping he doesn't, I don't know. Again, cutscenes. Haven't seen any of, any of them. So I don't know what's happening. I hope he doesn't die for my, for my sake alone. That would be really heart-wrenching to me. But, I think I've drawn on long enough. Uh, so last you got was Quake. We'll make sure to demonstrate that. But first things first, I want to do something real quick. I guess... Well, I'll discard one more Phoenix down here. And I'm going to get a Phoenix Wing, as I want to test these stuff right. out soon enough. I lost contact with you. And, you know, same old, same old. Replenish items. Spend EP on one Phoenix Wing. There you go. Uh, cancel. Alright, E... No, not EP. Recovery items. Sort. Categorize. Okay. Things are in the right place. In the right place. La 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 la. Alright then. I guess it's time to demonstrate this whole concept of the, uh... What was it? The Quake. Let's see if this works on Zaltus, and then show off the darkness. Within the Dark Knight costume. Alright. Let's go, Zaltus. Time for round five million and seven. I'm ready. Are you? All right, let's see this. All right, going right in. EP Quake away. Light the chaos. Whoa! So they weren't kidding. It actually does send every enemy into the air. I like that. I like that one a lot. But now you perish. Just like the Dragoon. And I guess that takes care of that. I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. One day left. This is our final time before a soul song. Let's make this count, and by that, let's hope the cutscenes are amazing. It really feels Plus like the it... end now. Soon it'll be over. It's been dying for five hundred years. I wasn't talking about the world. Then what? Never mind. Time is short. Every minute's precious now. Let's not waste any. Or we can do the complete opposite and waste every minute by sleeping through a day. It's our last day. Might as well get a nice, nice long rest, shall we? I mean, come on, we've been doing this for five days straight. Well, in game time, literally. We might as well get some rest. Even the savior needs to have her beauty sleep, I guess. Everyone does every now and then. Even me, even though I've never slept in for a whole, a whole day. Which would be very saddening on my part, seeing as... How much energy I have when I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning? And I'm not a joking, I wake up at 6 every morning. But that's in Mountain, Sa Mountain Center time, so who knows what time that'll be for you guys. Oh, of course nothing. Nope. Buys your car some sleep. Thank you very much. Let's end this. Rest until 6 o'clock. And here we go, people, ladies and gentlemen. It's time, the time has come. It's come so bad badly. <laughs> okay. Don't know where I was going with that. Here we go. The twelfth day is over. It is time to return to the Ark. The final day before the Soul Song. Time to end this. Vanille. 
We need to stop you. That's my prior that's my priority right now. Gotta save all the souls. We're the savior. It's gotta be our case. Or at the very least we'll find Sarah. Which I'm hoping for. I'm rooting for that. Whoop whoop! Okay. Now once this loads up, that'd be a very fantastic go for me. And beyond 13, an achievement's unlocked. You can only get this by, you know, beating the game, like normal. But here's one kicker here. On this final day, please hear my last prayer. Ah, we actually got a soul this time. Now this is significant. Remember when we completed all those side quests and main quests? Well... This. This is it. This is the true light of Yggdrasil. We are on day 13, and we have one day until the end. You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. We have one more day. Why? Hope? Welcome back. Would you care to explain for or the audience? So it's day 13. That means the end of the world. That's what you said, right? Yes, but something has changed. I don't quite understand it. The Tree of Life has borne more fruit, and it's glowing with a light that I've never seen before. I'm not sure, but I think this might be the lost time. We're getting it back, here at the end. What do you mean? Remember when I told you about the clocks? I told you how they only count to 12 instead of 13. There used to be 26 hours in a day. But now there are only 24. Two hours less. And the clocks changed when the chaos was unleashed. You think that the lost time still existed somewhere? Yes, through a tear in the fabric of space-time, perhaps. But now it's come back, thanks to you. I think it was the excess Aradia that you harvested. Somehow, you accumulated so much that the distortion in the space-time was repaired, and we got back all those missing hours from the last 12 days. That's 24 we didn't have. Which means we've been given a reprieve one more day before God awakens and the final destruction begins. Just the one day. It's not a lot of time. Yes, but it's enough for what I want you to do. I detected a previously unknown ruin deep in the dead dunes. Its appearance coincided with the return of the lost time. Ah! And he wants us to check it out. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, by completing a, ma a great majority of the side quests with inlaying returns, you get reward with that. Th an extra day. So instead of 13 days until the world's end, it's 14. And this 13th day, something special is unlocked. What it is? Well, I'm not gonna say. You know why? Because it's gonna be very special. And I'm gonna explain that on the next video, in our next session. But one thing I do want to bring your attention to is this. On this box, regardless of what day it is, on the 13th day in the arc, come to this box and... Upgrade successful. Equilibrium turns into Equilibrium Plus. Same goes for a Dark Muse. And the same thing goes for the Mist Wizard. Your main three garbs get an upgrade on this 13th day. Making, it, making them much more powerful than what they were originally. Now what do they have in particular? Well, that's what we're going to find out right now. We're gonna show, I'm going to show off all of these. First you have Equilibrium Plus, an improved version of the Savior's own Equilibrium Garb. Before it had a level 1 attack, now it has attack level 4. Much stronger than before, and has standby ATP Recovery Plus. Greatly hastens the ATP Recovery of Unused Schemata. Kind of like the def default thing. Pretty handy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Next up, trade out Purple Lightning. Or Dark Muse Plus. The improved version of Dark Muse Guard that comes set with Heavy Slash. Increases the wearer's maximum ATB. So you replace another attack for a Heavy Slash if you didn't get any, any, one, of those, any one of those earlier. There you have it. And it comes at level 4 with attack times 8. Much more powerful than before. And as for Dark Muse Plus, has no auto abilities, unfortunately. Well, except for those that are given with it, you know, what we have on it. And finally, for Makoti, we're going to put on the Mist Wizard Plus. 
An improved version of the Mist Wizard Garda comes set with Thunderstorm. Uh, increases the wearer's maximum ATB. Now, it says Thunderstorm, but in reality, you get elements, level 4. I have a feeling that was a translation issue, but either way, if you didn't have element before, this is where you get it. It deals magic damage to his target, it contains all four elements within. So in other words, if you have an enemy that's weak to all four elements, this thing makes them your B. It's pretty amazing stuff. But yeah, that's, that's what makes this amazing. And now as for what we're going to do with all this, now, I am going to be using this for the next session, actually the, the next couple of sessions, because where we're headed is going to be our greatest challenge yet. What that's going to be? Well, you'll just have to, have to stick tuned and find out. But, until that day, thank you guys so much for watching this session of Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, we've come a long way, we are on the 13th day, and now finally the guide has ended. Ah, oh, man. So much to go through, but now we only have one more thing left to do before we get to the final day. Again, that'll be all revealed within our next session. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching this session of Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave your likes and comments down below. Share this video with your friends, and of course, if you're new here to the channel and want to see more, Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy XIII in the future as it comes out daily until the very end of the series, then make sure to subscribe for the latest in RPG content. And until next time, this is Smiling Jit for signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow with a great session of Lightning Returns. See you all then.